Here we go, baby. There we go. We hooked up again. Let me see if I can turn you around. Let me tell you something. The big boys are back in town. Woo, man, this got it. This feels like a bass. Oh my goodness. Let me make sure that drag is set. Guys, if you don't get those nasty bent hooks, woo! God almighty, look at this crappie. Woo! Man, these rascals fight like bass. Man, oh man, oh man. Okay, this is a male. Let me tell you this. Once you get hooked on these nasty bent hooks, the game is over. With that eighth ounce jig on there, I can throw this thing about 15, 18 yards. And of course, when you go down to a 116, you lose distance, but you gain slow mo mobility of that jig dropping in the water column. Look at that, look at that, look at that. That's what I was telling you guys. That's what I was telling you guys. Look at this. Wow. Let me, let me say this. I want to tell you guys this. Let me make sure you guys can see me. Look at that. Guys, I'm using that nasty, my cams nasty stick combo. This is the bronze series. And I'm, look at this. Ooh, man, look at this. Let me tell you this. I'm going to show you guys this. Let me see if I can bend you down a little bit. Let me see if I can show you guys this. They're just, a, whoa, man, this is a 13 and a half. You heard that drag streaming a little bit. Let me tell you guys this. Look at this rascal. Let me see if I can give you some scale. Let me turn around. <clears throat> Let me see if I can show you this. This is very important for you guys to see. You remember how I was telling you to slow that jig down, okay? Let me give it to you with some scale. Let me back up a little bit. I want you guys to see this. Very important. Okay, this is a 13 and a half inch crappie, okay? I'm using that high-vis six-pound test line. Very important. That's all you'll see me use, okay? And this is very important. I definitely want to slow this rascal down, so I want you guys to see that. Let me show you that hook in the, in, in the mouth. Can you guys see that? I want you guys to definitely see that. And here's the difference. I'm using that red, black, and chartreuse, okay? I'm using that red, black, and chartreuse. And I want, I want you guys to rewind. I want you to take another look at that. That hook is three times sharper than any hook that's on the market right now. I don't have to set the hook on this rascal. As soon as I tighten that line up, that point that's chemically sharpened goes clean through that crappie's mouth. It's like a syringe, okay? Look at that. That's what you're looking for, that red, black, and chartreuse. Guys, I've already sold 50,000 of these. I'm using the metal head. Matter of fact, Matter of fact, hold on a second. Let me let me let me show you guys the fish. The cheeks are just starting to turn black. Okay, we're going to let them go because we don't know whether we have male or female. Okay, it's a 13-inch crappie. Look at that. Look how thick this rascal is across the back. Let me see if I can show you guys that. Look at that. <whistles> let me show you some scale. Let's let this rascal go because we're not going to keep. You remember I told you about how. Let me see if I can show you guys let, letting this rascal go. Let me bend you down a little bit. We're not keeping today, okay? Let me get a towel here. Let me wipe my hands off. <clears throat> Let me turn you back around. This is very important. Guys, I have the technique to show you how to catch crappie. I may not do a lot of other things, but I can show you how to catch crappie, okay? Look at this. A 1 8 ounce minnow head jig. You can see that point. Let me see if I can show you that point. I want to put it up there very closely so you can see that point. Okay? Guys, these rascals are very, 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 very sharp. Look at that. You see that? No other, no other fish hook on the market is, with a jig head is that sharp. So you do not have to set the hook when you're using this rascal. All you have to do is pick that, that pole up and, and that hook goes clean through that crappie's mouth. Okay? This particular segment... I'm using my bronze series, which has a total of three ball bearings. I'm sold out of the platinum, okay? I have all three of them on the boat right now, okay? But I'm using the bronze series. It's a carbon fiber rod, and it's a cork handle, Portuguese cork. The cork is shipped in from Portuguese, okay? From Portugal, I'm sorry. And it acts as a natural conductor. That's why you see a lot of poles have cork handles. 
Guys, listen, I take all the guesswork out of it. All you got to do is go to Cam's Crappy Hole. Matter of fact, it's right here on my jacket. Just go to camscrappyhole.com and you can pick yours up. We got free shipping. This is for all those guys out there that are still using Zebcos. Okay, I'm not knocking Zebcos, but we grew up off of those when we were kids. It's time for you to bring your A game, step your game up. And I want you guys to notice, because of my setup, how I let that jig at different angles catch that crappie. That was a 13 inch crappie we landed that rascal in the boat. Let's get set up and let's see if we can do it again, okay? While we're at it, I'm gonna have me a cup of coffee too. I'm gonna have me a couple of sips. And it's getting ready to come in. Let's see if we can have a little bit of luck before it comes in. I can feel those rain clouds coming in right now. Let's see if we can have a little bit of luck. All it takes is one cast. Slow that bad boy down. There we go, right there. You remember what I was telling you guys? Let me, let me show it to you. You remember what I was telling you? Guys, make sure you have your drag set right here. This is where the big boys are, Yank. This is where the big boys are. We play no games down here in Thump City, Georgia. Look at this big rascal. Guys, these are 13, 14, and 15 inch crappie right here. If you don't have your nasty bend hooks yet, this is that cam action nasty. Oh, I got to have the net. God almighty, look at this big girl. I'm going to see if I can show y'all this big girl. Come on in here, big girl. God almighty. Let me turn around. Let me show this rascal to you guys. I want to make sure I show it to you with scale. Let me back up a little bit. God almighty. Oh, she is. He or she, oh, she's full of eggs. Let me show y'all this rascal. Let me back up. Let me back up a little bit. Let me back up. Woo! Guys, this is a 14-inch crappie. First of all, what I want to show you, let me see if I can turn around so we can get total scale here. Let me get my feet together. All right, let me see if I can get it together here. Fantastic. Look at this, look at the stomach on this big rascal. Ooh Let me tell you guys a secret. When you order from me, matter of fact, I'm going to show you the hook. Look at that. Look at that hook set. You don't have to set the hook with these rascals because my hooks are so sharp. My hooks are so sharp. They're like syringes. All you have to do is tighten that line up and that hook penetrates. Look at this big rascal. If you don't, let me say this. If you don't have your cams, nasty stick, look at that balance. This is the bronze series that I'm running. Look at that balance, okay? 100% carbon fiber. We're doing pre-orders right now. All I have is like 12 in these, nine in the gold, and six in the silver. If you want it, you need to go on and get it right now. Look at this. I want to show you this, this rascal to you guys. Let me show you what I'm using. That red, black, and chartreuse, okay? You see that hook? Look at that point. I'm using a 1 8 ounce. And it produces this. Look at the stomach. Full of eggs. We're going to let her go. As a matter of fact, I'm going to let you guys see me let her go. Yank! Baby, we play no games here. Let me show you. Turn around. Ribble, you going to watch me let her go? Woo! Boy, this is a fish. She's full of eggs. You guys can see that right there. Let's let her go. Woo! Oh, boy, oh, boy. Mm, mm, mm. Let me say this to you guys. This is for all my brothers that, that are still fishing, <laughs> that are still fishing with those Zebcos, 202s, 33s. Listen, this is your hobby. This is what you do, okay? Go ahead and spend some money on yourself. You deserve it. I was fishing when I was a little kid with those Zebcos. You graduated from that now. Go online to camscrappyhole.com. You'll see it right down there, okay? Matter of fact, look camscrappyhole.com. That's all you have to do is go online, free shipping. I got the bronze series. I'm sold out of the platinum. They're gone, okay? And I also have the silver series. Let me show it to you. Make sure I don't make nothing go overboard. Got to be careful with that. This is the silver series. For me, it's all about the ball bearings. The, the bronze series has three ball bearings. My silver series has, which is this one right here, has six. The gold has nine, nine ball bearings and my platinum has 10 plus one. 
okay? Look at this, guys. And all of my rods are balanced, okay? Let me show it to you. All of my rods are balanced, okay? When you order your nasty bend hooks along with your cam's nasty stick, that combination right there, we play no games down here in Thump City, Georgia. Listen, let's get back in here. Let's see if we can get us one more, okay? Let's get back in here. Woo! Boy, that rascal kid. Mm, mm, mm. We're not on a meat run today. I'll take a break to show you exactly what I'm using out there on the water. So I'll take all the guesswork out. Now, number one, what I'd like to cover is why would you need, and you already have an arsenal of rod and reel combos, why would I need a crappy fishing reel? And I'm going to show you the difference, okay? This right here is a bass pole it's a six foot six you can see how thick the backbone is on this rod let me show you my cams nasty stick let me show you the difference you see how thin my rod is that's for sensitivity that's why you want it with this it's too much muscle this is just like going into a china shop and bringing a sledgehammer where with this you're in the china shop but you're using a q-tip you see how it kicks in? That's why they call this a medium action pole. Let me see if I can show you the bend in it. It only bends in the top, in the top half of the rod, okay? Now let me show you cams. Let me show you mine. You see how three quarters of that, that rod bends? You see that? It bends all the way back down to the backbone. That's the difference. That's why you need a cam action, a nasty, nasty stick, because it bends. It allows that for you to give. It allows room for error. Let me see if I can show you the tip. There you go. Now you can see it real good. Okay? You see the difference? That's what these nasty sticks are designed for. They're strictly designed to catch crappie. All right? So listen, go online, check it out, cams, camscrappyhole.com, and pick up your nasty stick. They're going very quickly, and I guarantee you, by the time you guys see this segment, you don't want to get online because you're going to need to order. you got a choice of what you can choose. All right? This is my silver edition reel. You see the size of that? Look at the size of the bass spinning rod reel you see that let me put it down so you can see it real good look at the size this is too much this is overkill and you have to remember in some areas where they catch crappie they call them paper mouths because if you use this pole here this bass pole and you pull that backbone's gonna kick in so quick okay you're gonna rip the hook right out of the crappie's mouth matter of fact you may even come up with some lips okay that's why you need my nasty stick Okay, we have it in bronze, we have it in silver, which is what you're looking at right now. This is a silver edition. We also have it in a gold edition, which is nine ball bearings. And my, my combos are all about the ball bearings, okay? You can see the Portuguese cork handle, the Fuji reel seat, and all of my rods, like I mentioned to you before, are 100% carbon fiber. A minute, just to show you guys what we're using on the boat and what we're snagging those crappy with. You know, I had to have that red, black, and chartreuse. Let me show it to you real close up so you guys can see it. See that glitter in the tail? You see that red, black, and chartreuse? We custom make these, okay? Just go right down at camscrappyhole.com. Everything is free shipping as well. So, you know, my segment isn't one of those segments where you have to look over my shoulder and bend over my shoulder so you can figure out what I'm using and how I'm using it. And remember, if you notice on the segment, I'm slowing that retrieve down, okay? A lot of you guys on Instagram saw me post on my rod and reel combo that I have I lowered my gear ratio to five one to one I'm not using a five two to one and I'm not using a a five three to one or a five four to one the reason why I lowered it to five one and one which, which is what it means for every revolutionary turn of this spinning reel it will turn 5.1 times so when you turn it a complete circle it will rotate, your, your spool will rotate 5.1 times. That's what 5.511, to 1 means, okay? So I wanted to give you guys that little piece of information. And this is the hook that I'll be using, okay? I'm using the gold, you look, look at the bend in that hook. The gold nasty bend hook, okay? I'm running with the gold. You either see me using the gold from here on out for the next five, six months, or either I'll be using the black nickel. Nine times out of 10, when I'm casting and retrieving, I'll be using the gold. Okay, the middle head, number two or number one crappie, I mean hook, it all depends on what I'm hooking into. Okay, so guys, look at this. I want to show you guys how sharp these hooks are. You see that? That's how sharp these hooks are. Let me show you the gold one as well. Guys, I don't, I don't play games over here. We custom make these. These things are chemically sharpened. Okay, look at that. I want to show it to you. 
You see how sharp that, sharp that bad boy is? No other hook on the market does this. this. These hooks are three times sharper than anything else out there you'll get. Yeah, they're bent to be nasty, but they put food on the table. That's what these guys do. Let me show you that nasty bend. This is the hook that you see me using right now, okay? Now, also in the boat, I got the Orange Crush, which you guys go on the website, you'll see that. And also on the boat with me, I have the pink, white, and chartreuse. You got to remember, you want to make sure that you keep all these colors in the boat because when, when they stop hitting, and crappy are very funny, when they stop hitting on one color, you switch to another, okay? You remember the old saying you guys heard me say on the video, it's always better to have and not need and to need and not have. That's that pink, white, and chartreuse. That chartreuse, you see the glitter in the tail? I got that on board as well, and you know, you know I have to have that orange crush. It's just a matter of what you have to give the fish what they want, okay? That's very, very important. Here's the orange crush. Matter of fact, you can see my fingers with, with the mineral oil on there. We put that mineral oil to protect the vibrant color, to make sure all my colors stay vibrant. Look at that. Look at that mineral oil on my finger, okay? Listen, everything I have is free shipping, but I wanted to come on here and show you guys, give you an education, because everything that you need, I have to catch crappie and all the signs that I've given you the daffodils are up uh, the robins are on the ground the geese have already paired off and you can hear all, you can hear them out here making noise right now so all you all that's left to do is for you guys to get on the water and catch some crappie don't sit here and look at me get get the kids get the family if you want to go ahead and buy them a fishing rod and reels we have that so you can't say we don't have it if you want the right bait that I'm using you you guys can see on the segment that I'm catching crappie we have everything you need, and we custom make them just for you. So listen, let's get back to fishing, and this is your boy Cam. Keep those hooks wet, keep those lines tight. Here we go, baby. There we go. We hooked up again. Let me see if I can turn you around. Let me tell you something. The big boys are back in town. Woo, man, this got it. This feels like a bass. Oh my goodness. Let me make sure that drag is set. Guys, if you don't get those nasty bend hooks, woo! -hoo! God almighty, look at this crappie. Woo! Man, these rascals fight like bass. Man, oh man, oh man. Okay, this is a male. Let me tell you this. Once you get hooked on these nasty bend hooks, the game is over. Woo! Guys, we are having a great time. Let me put this bad boy over here so y'all can see this rascal. Wee! This is for all the cats that still around the water cooler. This is a male. Guys, let me tell y'all something. These fish better be happy that I am not on a meat run today. Wee! Let me show this to you. I want you guys to see this. Look at the underside. Let me make sure I can turn you up so you guys can see this. It's getting ready to rain. We're going to call it a day. Look at this rascal, 13 inches. Look how black the cheeks are. This is a black crappie, but it's a male. He's starting to turn black. He got his tuxedo. Matter of fact, let me turn you just a little bit so you guys can see me. He has his tuxedo on, okay? Or AKA war paint. Guys, listen, hashtag Thump City Georgia. We play no games here. Let me see if I can show you this one just as it is. Look how far down that nasty bend hook is, okay? Guys, listen, I'm gonna make it as simple as possible. The fish is still cold too. Let me pop this rascal out of here. <whistles> Let me tell you this. I had to switch to a number one hook. I can't use those number fours. I can't use those number six. I can't use number twos. I had to switch to a big number one hook because of the size of this crappie. On every lake, there's a Cam's crappie hole. This is a male. Wee! Let me show it to you again. I want listen. I want to remove all doubt, so you guys know down here at hashtag Thump City, Thump City these supermodels are back in town, baby. Look at that. Let me show it to you again, so you'll know. That number one gold hook is the hook of the month. Okay. Let's let this rascal go so, that, so then we can talk about it. This is it for the day. Guys, the game is over. Let me show you to let this rascal go. Woo! Boy! Man, oh man, oh man. Okay. Let me turn you around. 
I want you guys to understand this. I don't go to the big box store and just buy a rod and reel off the rack. I've graduated from that. I, over, me, myself, over a year, we did due diligence for all my new guys out there. We did our own due diligence on our rods and on our reels. Okay, these are cams, all right? They're 100% carbon fiber, they're micro lights, okay? And these are cams, nasty sticks. We're doing pre-orders as we speak right now. We're almost sold out in 45 days. So if you're on the fence and you're thinking about getting a rod and reel combo just for crappie, for panfish, okay? Go to camscrappyhole.com, I got you covered. I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for you guys to get these and obtain them. For me here, it's all about the ball bearings. You go online, I put it right on the front page. When you go to camscrappyhole.com, it's right on the front page. All you got to do is stroll down and you will see them, okay? The Platinum was sold out. If, if the next one down is the Gold Series, which has, I think, nine ball bearings. Is it nine plus one or is it eight plus one? I can't remember which one it is. Then six, then three, which is what this is right here, the Bronze Series. But listen, we've done what we're supposed to do. Thank you guys so much. If you like this video, share it. Like it, subscribe it, share it with your friends. I appreciate that. And let's get ready to get in. We're going to, we're going to have to do, run a dub of this and do it all over again. All right, thanks for coming by and see, seeing me. And remember, keep those hooks wet and come join me again sometime. <laughs> Listen, this is that medium action pole here. Hey, hey, cut it out. River. <laughs> This is the medium action pole. Let me see if I can show you the bend, why they call this a medium action. You see how it bends just at the tip? You see that? Let me see if I can show you. You see how non-flexible this pole is? It's very stiff and rigid. Okay, let me show it to you. You see how that backbone kick, kicks in immediately? This is called a medium.